One of the most common issues that I hear people having is photos winding up on their iPhone or iPod Touch or iPad, and then they cannot go in and delete those pictures in mass. So they have to go and delete them one by one on their iPhone or iPad. There's a few applications and a few ways on your Mac to take care of that problem. So when you plug in your iPhone, as I'm going to do right now, or iPod Touch or iPad, you're going to notice here we can see iPhoto and iTunes. It's going to pop up in both of what are called the sidebars. So in iPhoto, it's going to show up right there under Devices. And then over here in iTunes, it shows up similarly right there under Devices. And then in iTunes, a lot of times it will start a syncing process. So as we bring iPhoto over, the issue with iPhoto is that you can import pictures in from iPhoto and then choose to delete the pictures that you do not want to leave on your iPhone. But you can't go through here and manually delete a batch of pictures without importing them into iPhoto. So that's not the application you want to use in order to delete your pictures off your iPhone or iPad. There are two options from that point. You can first of all come into iTunes and choose your specific device as you'll notice here. And then if we expand iTunes, we're going to go over to the photos area. And in here in the photos area, what probably happened that caused your photos to sync over to your iPod or iPad or iPhone is that the syncing checkbox was turned on and then you did not or, or forgot that you had set some albums and events and some different things to sync over to that device. One option then is to uncheck this checkbox here and choose not to sync your photos from either iPhoto or from another folder that is on your Mac or to go through and select which albums and events or specific faces you do or do not want to sync over to your iPhone. So I have a favorite pics events that's in my iPhoto library that syncs automatically to my iPhone. But if I uncheck this box right here, that will turn off syncing and then that will, the next time I sync, remove all of those photos from the iPhone. And before you choose to do anything, you will notice that I'm doing a backup and on an iPhone, it's a six step process. You can invoke that or start it. It typically starts when you plug your iPhone in, but here you could just go under file and sync your phone and that will create your backup. That way if you do something wrong or you mess something up, you can always restore right back to the backup before you started. So it's finished that backing up process and I'm now going to come here and deselect this checkbox. That's going to bring up a quick screen that says it's going to, re or asking me if I want to remove the photos that iTunes has synced to my iPhone as part of this process. I don't have to do that. And you'll see that I have just short of half a gigabyte of photos on the iPhone. So if I choose remove photos, that is going to remove the photos that have synced through iTunes. It hasn't applied it yet. You'll notice there, it's going to shrink it just a little bit. But when I hit apply, that process will start and those photos will be removed from the iPhone in mass, everything that was synced through iTunes. Now all I see on my iPhone is what's called the camera roll or the pictures that are taken with your iPhone. Any photos that were synced through iTunes, any albums or events or faces that were synced through iTunes are now no longer on my iPhone. So if that's what you've done in terms of moving pictures and that removes all of your pictures and you're finished or perhaps you do not want to delete your camera roll. Now if you want to delete your camera roll pictures, if perhaps there are hundreds of pictures in your camera roll, you do not want to import them into onto your Mac or into iPhoto, then you want to use an application called Image Capture and we will launch Image Capture here through the spotlight uh, feature up in the top right hand corner. That's my top hit. It's also an application. Once I launch Image Capture, that will also find my iPhone, as you notice here, and those are all of the pictures that are in what's called the camera roll. That's also movies that are in the camera roll. So at this point, I could choose to import this information, import these pictures uh, to a particular folder on my Mac, into iPhoto or preview, to an email. I can make a PDF from them or choose other, which launches a finder looking window and put all of, that, uh, all of those files wherever I want. In addition to importing, what I can also do is select Command A or hit the keyboard command. Command A, that selects all of these photos and movies as you'll notice. And then come right here and delete all of these selected items from my iPhone and that will wipe them from my iPhone in mass. If I don't want to delete all of them, if perhaps I want to save a couple of these pictures, then I would just command click the pictures that I want to save. You'll notice their titles are no longer in blue and those pictures will and movies will remain behind when I hit delete. So hopefully that solves a problem a lot of people seem to have, which is removing pictures and movies from a device that is connected to your Mac.